Hey, 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 my good friends, you're watching Julie. That's right, I'm Julie with the Julie Show. That goes nowhere and we talk about much, but the denture adventure must go on. Denture adventures for life. I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys, today was not the best day inserting my dentures. Um, I usually do that with you guys. Uh, I struggled a little bit today with soreness in the four corners. You know, the four corners where you get most sores. It feels like my teeth adhered to the side here and to the back, but never really adhered that great to the front. I don't think they were pushed far enough back when I had my um, um my immediate taken off and these sized. What things on my nose? It looks like something's on my nose. It's probably part of it. Oh, it is. So don't mind this. It's a hot mess. I have. Children's uh, disease and that causes for massive sores in the eyes and the nose and the mouth and dry eyes, nose and mouth. So I am going through some stuff with my nose right now. What I wanted to tell you guys was I was going to do a denture adventure and like let you know that if you can, ibuprofen is a miracle. I do take something for anxiety and some days when I put in my teeth and they feel really uncomfortable, not pain, but uncomfortable. I will take my anxiety medication because then I don't worry about it as much and they become more comfortable. It's mind over matter. Then also, I've been taking ibuprofen the days that they hurt. And I'm telling you, little by little here, minute by minute, they're getting better. Um, you spend too much time focused on them. I mean, they look great. White. Lined up nicely, huh? I do miss my teeth coming out a little further. This changed my look. I talk now and I notice that my lip... On the bottom, the little underbite that I'm getting on. I'm not big on the underbite. But anyways, uh, after taking ibuprofen and taking my anxiety medicine, it feels a lot better. I can't take any more anxiety medicine throughout the day, but I can take some more ibuprofen. I'm, to, I'm allowed to take 800 milligrams three times a day. Um, and that is for multiple reasons. I take ibuprofen just so I don't have to take hydrocodone and all that other good drug addict stuff because I'm over on TikTok promoting being clean. Look at how different my hair color is from like right here. To just that curl. I'm afraid to either put brown in my hair or red in my hair. If I put the red in my hair, it is a dark red. So this will turn dark. It will. But it'll fade really quick too. And I can't keep dyeing my hair like this. So we'll see after my haircut. I'm going to go in the next few weeks and get my haircut. We'll see how much we get chopped off of the darker hair. If it's quite a bit, I'll go ahead and do the red. I have a very beautiful Schwarzkopf color. Um, it's ruby red. 1.8 is the, um, the number. In this area, we'd be going up, putting in three darker shades. And then in this area, it'd only be like one, one darker shade. So this is going to turn out three times brighter than this probably. And that is going to really upset me because then I'm going to want to take my bottles of dark brown and go over that. And I don't think my hair, my hair can afford that. I'm just starting to notice these are blonde, or not blonde, these are red roots because I dyed my hair red with a different red. And look, the roots are growing in right there again, and they're still red. A little bit darker, but not much. So that's why I wanted to do the reds, because I am turning into like a natural, natural redhead. Don't know how that happens. I do have green eyes and very sensitive skin, and I was a preemie. Maybe that all has something to do with it. But the real reason I got you guys on here today, not because my dentures are uncomfortable. You don't want to hear about that. Look what I made with my Cricut machine. Oh, that's my Cricut machine right there. Oh, and then all my beautiful, my caricature I've had up there was free. I went to a party. I did, oops, oh, I'm not on TikTok. I'm so used to being on TikTok. You can't vape and talk. And you can't tape uh, vaping or smoking. Wow, that looks terrible. You can't tape, um, ooh, I'm going to have to fix that. You can't tape yourself vaping or smoking it's against guidelines and they'll, they'll ban your account so you can't go on and you have to create your own new account and you'd have to gather all them people over again. So I'm not going to do that, but sometimes I forget where I'm at. Now, I've been using vitamin C, which has absorbent acid and it does take out the hair dye. You should see the last three or four times I put that in my hair, which I'm done doing it because it feels a little dry from the acid. It did, if you notice back here, the hair is getting lighter. Yeah. This side, not so much because it's got most of the hair, but I am really afraid to dye that red. But if I go ahead and put in that dark, and these freaking roots grow out again. 
there's no win for me except to go get them foiled. And I don't have the money for somebody else to do my hair. I just don't. Why do you think I keep getting cut in the chop shops? I keep going to gray clips and getting chopped by the same lady because she does a decent job. Um, would I much rather want a precision cut? Yeah. Would I want a good foil job? Yeah. Look at my hair. I mean, right now, to be honest with you, okay, maybe it is coming a little bit darker back here, but not much. Look at that. Not to be, you know, that negative. A lot of people are running around with two-tone, three-tone hair colors because they're going with that stripping their hair, dyeing it those really brilliant, like, bright pigmented colors, and that is wearing off really fast. So a lot of people are running around with some weird little colors in their hair. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist. Eventually, I will cut off enough dark. I will put the red in probably, and it will start to cover all my hair. My hair will grow in naturally. So I wanted to show you this. I made this on my Cricut a lot, and I've seen this in my um, group I follow on Facebook. Now, mine is nowhere near perfect at all. I messed up the back. The cutter automatically started acting up, causing wrinkles. Then I didn't print the one mat that had the three top red pieces. So I just went ahead and did the zipper, and I did the straps, and I did the little gold things. They're not on right, but it's starting to look like a little burger bag or something. And it folds in right here, as you can see. It's cute. But this is my bag. I took a minute. I first I started with stick glue. Thank God. See, the inside doesn't look that great. The bottom is red. So the whole box was supposed to be white. And then um, you come in with red accents or whatever color you choose. So I'm sorry. I went to that. But I think it looks pretty good. What do y'all think? I mean, it's not one of these bags you want to take around and carry stuff in. Believe me, this is for looks. This is called a Galantine bag or a Galantine. Either Galantine or Galantine. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's spelled with a G just like Valentine, but it's Galantine. I was able to get the zipper on there. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do that. And I did get the buckles on the straps and the panels in the front. And I have to say for my first box, this is my first, this was an eight no, excuse me. This was a 10 mat project and I did it in six mats because I didn't want, and that's why I'm missing these red panels in the back because I didn't do it right. And then I glued this down on, I glued the white part down on top. Oh, it was not right for a while there. I had to fix it up, but it looks good now, don't it? Come together nicely at first when I cut all them pieces and then I picked one that had a card. An embellishment and I don't, when it comes into those embellishments, you're talking about not 12 by 12 craft stock anymore. Now you're putting in like little craft stock and you could very easily be off on your calculations. So you don't want to waste that much of that stuff. And this was the card. I threw this away because I couldn't figure out where this was coming from. It, one of the plate, one of the mats that I did cut came with part, a portion of the card that goes with this box. This box was supposed to be like some kind of Valentine's. It wasn't supposed to be red and white. I can't remember what other color. I was going to do it in red and black, but of course, the very first time I tried cutting this, I went for a third cut, and it messed up a little bit, but I caught it. But the first two times, wrecked the paper. I was appalled. I could not believe that my paper was wrecked. But anyways, you guys go and have a great day. I'm over here making uh, galantine bags and trying. I'm not. I'm over here making gallon. Looks pretty cute, doesn't it? So I don't know to make any more of them. I do know that if I go in there um, in the mats and it guides you down the uh, Cricut uh, access, to, it guides you how to print them and what order to print them. And it tells you what color they should be. You print it scored by color. So I'll have a better understanding next time I go in and make one of them. It might turn out a little bit better where the back panel isn't actually crooked. I also put a little, I started putting a little tiny piece of scotch tape on the corner of my cutting mats, which are those right there. I'm there for 12, I mean, those are 12 by 12 mats, but you can get 12 by like 24 mats too for longer projects. But I have to admit, for that being my first time and as struggled as I was this morning, a lot of extra parts got printed and cut because that came with a card that I didn't want to produce. A lot of the projects and stuff that come up on here on the Cricut Access, it it's weird because you you don't know this, but if you want it to look identical to the original product when you're done... You're going to follow every step, but if you know what you're doing and you want to skip a few steps, you can. On this particular project, skipping a few steps was probably not key because I didn't know as I was cutting each mat what part of the box I was cutting. I took it all downstairs, sorted it out. 
I put the white on top of the white. I was like, Julie, this can't be right. Where do all these panels go? They're tall. I was like, oh, crap. I wasn't supposed to put down the white panel. I was supposed to put all the red down and then the white. So, anyways, that's my first bag. It turned out great. I might make another one. We might talk about some color schemes that are a little bit better. Um, but with that being said, yeah, dentures take some. If your dentures are feeling like crap and you got them in for the day and they just start feeling funny, the best thing you can do is gargle salt water. You can take some ibuprofen and use chloroquine before you put them in. Okay. Now, with that being said, denture adventure slash craft hour, craft hour with Julie. Well, not hour, craft 15 minutes. I am going to put this video in the denture adventure section. But I will put in the description Galantine bag. Okay. Because this is always going to be dentures adventures for life. There's always something I got to tell you about my dentures. And yes. I am, with April, I am 13 months, 13 months out since my immediate dentures, and I'm still having a little bit of sore. Uh, come August, when I have my, my yearly with my permanents, they may, won't, they may go ahead and adjust them, or they may go ahead and give me a new set just because I have a warranty, and if they are, in fact, hurting, and if they're going down this route, it's going to be a rocky summer. But like I said, try the ibuprofen first. Use the Coracane, do the salt water rinse, run the denture that's hurting you under warm water while it's being set before you have any glue. Put it in your mouth and clench together and make that warm tissue on your denture soften to your gum and it'll fit a lot better. Those are my tips for today. You guys go and have a great day and go in peace. Okay, bye-bye.